as a scrum master, hmm, okay, yeah, as a scrum master, how do you help developers work closely with customers? Part of me wants to say you don't, that's on the product owner, okay. Um, but then I'm going to stay, take a step back into reality and away from theory and say, well, you, you, you need to be supporting this relationship. You need to be working with the people who potentially get in the way of developers talking to customers. Okay? I've worked with organisations who they're shocked, they're terrified of the idea of a developer talking to a customer. I mean, the, these unshaven, dishevelled people turning up and talking to our customers, how could they possibly do it? And, well, who better? to talk to the person with a problem than those that can solve the problem. And that's really how I start the conversation. Okay. Imagine you have got up, you've just had a shower. The shower decided that it wasn't going to come out of the shower head as normal. Instead, it's going to burst a pipe and flood the floor and it's slowly creeping out. You've got a choice. Okay. You can ring the plumber. The plumber is probably going to turn up and let's choose that stereotypical plumber. There's a bit too much flesh on display. They're unshaven. They're not the smartest person turned up, but they can just turn up. They'll have the tools. They'll have your pipe fixed in no time. Or you can do what most organizations ask for is you can ring up somebody to act as an intermediary with the plumber to decide which plumber you need. They've only got one, but you don't know that. And you can have a call with them and then they will tell that plumber what the problem is and the plumber will turn up with the tools that that intermediary has told them they need. They may turn up with the right tools. If you've got a great intermediary, there's a good chance they will. But they're not going to turn up as quickly because you've got to call the intermediary, the intermediary has to call the plumber, the plumber has to decide on the tools, get in their van and drive to you. Okay? Everything's slower. You may or may not have a successful outcome. Instead, you want to be able to ring a plumber. They've got all of their tools in their van, they just get in it, they come to you. There's a whole load of stuff happening that's adding no value to this system. Okay? It's very clear when we talk about a broken pipe leaking out, you know, it's out into that nice new hallway carpet that you've just had laid, it's all gonna have to be ripped up. No, you just want somebody to turn up and fix the problem. Well, why are your customers any different to that person stood in the shower in horror. They're not. They just want it fixed. Okay? They can let off an awful lot of stuff if those people can fix the problem. What you need to do is work with your product owners, work with your business stakeholders to help them understand that. Okay? Very often people will let slide the looks, the lack of elocution. You know, they, they Developers talk as developers talk. Okay, some are gifted, some not so much. You don't care, they're there to help you solve a problem. You want analysis skills in there, of course, they're part of the developers. Um, to lead that conversation maybe, to help guide it, to shape it. But you want the people who can solve the problem to hear the problem. Because then, they'll know which tools to use. And that's really the key here, that we want to start explaining to everybody else, all these stakeholders that may get in your way. Okay, You have a customer with a problem, you have people who can solve it. What we need to do is enable that interaction. So work with your product owners to help them understand it. Work with your product owners to help your stakeholders understand it. Really, I would look to the product owner to be the champion of this. But what you likely have to do on day one is be the champion for them, is help them understand the importance so that they can go out and help others understand the importance of your developers talking directly to your customers. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.